What's up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Hunter P. Brown here. Let's get to work. We've been busy all night. Yeah, we should be ready now. TUG told me to get into at least 70. Well, we went the dist. We pretty much almost went the distance and went to 90. Almost 90. Heck, I think I may be able to get an another level or two on them. Let's see. Uh. Yes. I was about to say, God damn, he's about that level of toxicity. But yeah, he's friendly towards us. He love he loves us. He trusts us. I think we're good. Let's see what we can do. Been busy giving this woman watts too. What can I help you with, love? Three hundred thousand nine hundred seventy-eight. Let's get more supplements in stock. This is number one pharmacy. Thank you so much for all your support. In fact, we'd like to offer you some more of your products here at the dojo. Mm-hmm. 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 Now we've got calcium and zinc too. Yeah, you weren't thirsty anyway. <laughs> oh shit, I bought the same stuff. <laughs> Oops. Now I'm broke. Whoops. <laughs> oh man, I forgot you can't use it on level 100 Pokemon. Unless they're already already mixed out. Tank mode activate. Let's restore my Pokemon because this is. It's a magic room. Like hell, watch this. Hair and makeup. Welcome. Lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? Nothing. Yeah, you get everything done in there. And this kid will give us some hints about what we can make with this thing. Can't make it give you blowjobs, not that, not that I'd want one. Look at that beak, that sucker would pierce my dick hole. What's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Kufu are getting along. Here more. Good, good, you two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Yeah, Corviknight's pissed off at me that I replaced him with him, but he'll live. Kufu's really more become more confident, how wonderful. I dare say I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. Turn the AC down. Yeah, it's like 45 degrees in here. I don't know why the hell I'm idling. Dum dum dee dee la la dee da. Phew. I guess this is as good a spot as many. Now then, Hunter P and Kung Fu, if you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Kung Fu. Prepare yourselves for the Tower of Two Fists. Whatever that is, it better involve keeping our pants on. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters, and the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Kuba's fighting style will change depending on the tower you choose, and the type it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Kung Fu properly before trying to climb up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of, forest of Focus. 
You might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to see to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's gonna be so excited. Yeah, this very well could be the last episode for Isles of Armor. And then we start Crown Tundra next. I'm also rapidly hitting the A button while I'm flunk while I'm uh, riding my bike. You never know where a Diglett's gonna pop up. I mean, in places like this, it's really easy to find them. But um, uh, in all, but you never know. Or, whoops, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. I've got enough water Pokemon. I need some dark types. Yeah, I've been I've been everywhere around here. Ah, right, here we go. Diffuse! Now how the shit am I supposed to get down there? Oh, down there. Dirt. Roganrola. This should be easy for you. Close combat. By the way, TG commented just now. Uh, while I'm recording this, that Pokemon yesterday that I thought was a Jigglypuff, he says it's a Chansey. Uh, if it was, I just basically, yeah, that sucks. Because I didn't do that fight. I skipped over it. Bug Psychic. Oh, yeah, I think I know what this is. Nah, we'll do this some other time. Revive. Can't ever have too many of those. And a Pokeball. And a Diglett. You got good eyes, Hunter P. Well, to be completely honest, the TV I'm using in my truck is a 28-inch uh, uh, 1080p LED. All right, it's nothing fancy these days, but it's the biggest one I can get for my truck. That'll fit my truck. Um. So, yeah. Try to hide from me. Give ye da. Woo! Throat chop. I think that's something I could teach, uh. Cub Fu. Maybe I've already got. Yeah, here it is. Oh, it's a throw. It's a dark type move. Okay. And only talk Tristy could use it. It's a pair of shady-looking glasses that boost the power of dark type moves. Well, I wear black glasses. Nice pagoda. Hello. Hello, Hunter P. Master has already sent the word. This is the Tower of Darkness. It's a special training ground that only Kung Fu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Kung Fu is the only Pokemon on your team. Okay. My Pokemon are going to hate me for this, but...
Damn, I got a lot of Pokemon, that's for certain. There's got to be another move I could teach him. He can't just go in with just fighting types and a flying type. Is that like a psychic type move or something he can learn? Work? No, that's not going to do anything. No, no. Iron. Okay, yeah, that would work. Get rid of this. This um, he get he gets off the tag, but if he the only way it goes off is if the other the opponent uses something like like I don't know maybe a, a stat decreasing move or a charge move or anything like that. It's not worth it. I'm sorry, it just ain't worth. It. I mean, high risk, high reward, but that is a real serious high risk. If you've raised Kufu to be at least 70, his training will go smoothly. Once you've entered the tower, you won't be able to leave until you best five opponents or are defeated yourself. What's more, the tower you didn't choose will be close to you forever. Now, do you wish to forsake the path of water and follow the path of darkness? Sure. Remember, there will be no turning back once you've made your choice. Are you sure you want to climb the tower of darkness? I'm sure. I can tell your heart is set. The best of luck to you. Let's go, Kung Fu. Walking only a path of light will not help broaden your perspective. You must learn to use both the light and the dark. Let me show you how. Master Dodo Sudan. Gorua! Okay, this should be easy because dark types are weak against fighting types. Ah, oh, bitch! That's it. I knew you could do it. Light and dark aside, you have certainly brought in my perspective. And now give me your money. Impressive. You can now proceed to the second floor. Those strong in the darkness are also strong in the light. I have traveled the path of darkness and perfected my strength in the light. Behold. Scraggy. Let's go, Kung Fu. Kick him in the dick. Close enough. <laughs> That's it, I knew you could do it. Yes, even my strength perfected in light can be overshadowed at times. Impressive, you can now proceed to the third floor. We are all but lost travelers, feeling our way through the darkness around us. The results of battles are hidden in darkness until the battles are completed. That is the beauty of battling. Number three, let's go. Inke. I think it's a dark water top. I could be wrong, though. He just commented again. I think you need certain combos for the Cramble Mag to give you the rare Pokeballs. Yeah, how do you make a Master Ball? <laughs> now the darkness surrounds me. Impressive. You can now proceed to the fourth floor. With wind that carries a ship out to sea is wind that stalls a ship returning to port. What shines light on one path can also be what keeps another in darkness. Let us see if you can find your own path onward. 
to victory. Crocker Rock. Go on, Kung Fu. I know you can do it. Chuck Norris. It's Chuck Norris wearing Jinko jeans. That's what it looks like. Am I the only one that sees that? Go up, Bronk. Probably should have, uh... There you go. Good job. Try it again. You little shit! All right, that's it, Num Nuts. You're dead. Get the fuck out of my face. Wat waffle. You can now proceed. God damn it already? I'll be right back. One second. Alright, I'm back, guys. I'm sorry about that. God damn, we hadn't been recording even 10 minutes and I already decides, oh, we're gonna freeze up because we suck. I really need to get an S plus again, seriously. This is meant for home, not not for here. Oh, hello. How'd you get up here so quickly? There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Darkness, so I decided to wait for you here. Hunter B and Cub Food, you've both done well to get this far. A bear. Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A stream too clear to avoid by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of darkness. Jesus, sounds like I'm being trained by Darcidius, aka uh, Emperor Palpatine. Oh, damn! So he's got his own kung fu. I need to get serious about him to take you on. Hone your senses now and let this battle sharpen you. Show me how you can grow. Turned his head and nodded back as if understanding. Shit! Watch closely, Hunter P. This is what Kuba's fists are truly capable of. Why didn't I just do that from the start? That's it, I knew you could do it. Dojo Master Mustard has been defeated. Can you catch up? <laughs> you young folk grow so fast, it never ceases to amaze me. Well, I mean, it, I trained like four or five hours last night. Fell asleep, and then woke up and went back to work. What a team. Impressive, most impressive. All right. <laughs> I knew you were worthy of my trust, Hunter P. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Kung Fu to the level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this trial, but he never made it into either tower. He got lost along the... Wow. They're really playing that joke into the ground, ain't they? <laughs> now it's finally time for Kung Fu to evolve. Go and show Kung Fu the Scroll of Darkness. Kung Fu is ready now.
Yes. Uh -huh. Man, I mean, does it understand it? A bear. Kufu's evolving. Urshu, Urshifu. <laughs> Ursifu is a data. Inhabiting the mountains of a distant region, this Pokemon races across sheer cliffs, training its legs and refining its moves. Cool. Ooh, wicked blow. This attack always results in a critical hit. Get rid of this. It's got too low accuracy. Y'all saw it? I can't I missed four times in a fucking row. Of course, two of them were because of protect, but that doesn't that doesn't matter. It does not matter. Behold, before you stands your Shifu. Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered the style of darkness. The dark. <laughs> You've certainly grown, haven't you? And the thing not too long ago you you would have run and hid behind me the moment you got scared. Bullshit! Indeed, no matter how old I get. Witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Hunter P, or Shifu, thanks you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking this battle seriously. All right. That's kind of useless, but all right. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. Oh, is there more? Is there? Do I got to do something else before I can say we're done here at the Isles of Armor? I guess we're done. Yeah, this one this one's going to be kind of a short episode. Oh my. Oh, hey, welcome back, Hunter P. Looks like you've been working at, hard at work keeping up your training here at the dojo, eh? Oh, Hop, you're here too? Where's the surprise, mate? The welcome. Acting like I'm something the Meowth dragged in. I'm here on the Alice of Armor to research more about the Dy Dynamax phenomenon. So I hear you two are friends. How delightful. Hoppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out the Isles of Armor. But where's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling him he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it'd be loads easier than camping out for a long while, but wouldn't I be in the way? Everybody's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master Dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're little, you little brother of our Leon, of course. Yeah, just don't hit on that dude there at the bottom left. Oh shit, is T about to go live? No, it's an email. Yeah, thanks a lot for reminding me of an overdraft fee, you fucking assholes. Yeah, it's true. We did train here when we were both kids. All right, then, Master Mustard, you've twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it, because I'm staying. Woohoo! The mode, the merrier. I'm pleased to punch in a gold plate of punch bowl. Which reminds me, Hunter P. I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Kufu. Or really, it's evolution, or Shifu. The truth is, the lovable rascal is capable of gigantamaxing, too. But it's a bit tricky, because it really can't stand the taste of max mushrooms. So max soup is off the menu, unless you can make it more appealing to it. There's a certain something you can find here on the Isles of Armor, though, that'll make it even... That'll make even Urshifu gobble up a bowl of mech soup. And that certain something is... That certain something is... That certain something is actually... The suspense is killing me here. I hope it'll last. <laughs> actually, I've forgotten what it is. Oopsie doopsie. Are you kidding me? No! <laughs> You've been, you're even more fun to tease than your brother ever was. The certain something I'm thinking of is sure to make Max Suit more palatable to the Urshifu. And has something to do with another Pokemon. Now I think I'll let the two of you figure out just what it is. Give it a good think together. You're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister, so get cracking. That's kind of morbid. Is this uh, how your training usually goes? I really got no Rapidash in this race, but even I'm pretty curious about that certain something. 
I think I read something about Urshifu in a book once, too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said it lives in the mountains in some far-off region. It's pretty amazing, huh? Nah, it's nothing. I just happened to be researching for Pokemon lately, is all. But yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of a sticky honey. 100p! Honey is made from the nectar of flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need nectar made by some Pokemon that look like flowers and plants. And if we're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, I reckon there might be lots in the forest. I'll be able to look into Dynamaxing along the way, so count me in for some exploration. There's a forest past that big marshland, right? Bet I can still beat you there. Probably. Okay, good. I didn't want this to end just yet, because we've only got like 15 minutes of an episode. Oh, oh, 20 minutes. I'm sorry. Lisa's not asking me to battle him. No, get out of there! We don't need to camp. Not right now. Yeah, I've been catching a lot of Pokemon. In fact, we've already got some con- In fact, I think I know what he's talking about. I was just there. It looks like a flower. It's like a- it's an island in the shape of a flower. Get over there, god damn! Alright, we're good. Let's go. I mean, he is a bear, so of course he's gonna like honey. But I know what he's talking about. Yeah, it's this area up here. Honeycomb Island. Like I said, you're gonna hear me tapping this button because I'm finding Diglets. Hey, hop. Finally, Hunter, I've been waiting forever for you. No, you haven't. It's only been like two minutes. I thought Glenwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level. And it's so hot and humid that I'm sweating a pond over here. Well, take the jacket off. Damn. Sonya and I split up places to serve, and she opted for the cold and snow and all. Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us two. We'd both feel a bit better. Anyway, I was checking out this forest of focus place while I was waiting for you to show up, and I saw signs that Lilligan and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Ushafiro should love from their fruits and flowers and fruit. Well, you got the right idea. Expecting you to come up with a good strategy. Okay, here's the strategy. That's it, I knew you could do it. What? Bullshit! Ain't that bad a bitch? Now I gotta heal him. Do I got any full heals? Yeah, plenty of them. Healy? Look, it's a Patili. Patili involves an Lilligant, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. Heh. Hey, doesn't that Patelia seem to be acting a bit strange? It looks a bit lost. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's still pretty level. Maybe it got separated from its parents? <laughs> T -li -li. Whoa! Who are you glooming on to, mate? You really must be lost if you think I'm your mom. And now I'm stuck. Okay, you gotta help us out here, Hunter P. Go find this one of Patil's parents or something, would you? Look for something. Look for some worried-looking Lilligan. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for stepping by, you guys. Thanks for breaking my cow's amp. Hello, Pikachu.
Yeah, I'm not gonna battle him. Come on, buddy. What the hell? Hmm. Who's meshing me? Oh. I'll have to talk later, because I'm playing Pokemon. Sludge Wave, all right. What the shit is that? What? What did they do to Tangela? Is that his evolution? What did they do to my boy? That ain't, that ain't right, I don't care who you are. Damn. Tangrowth. You are one ugly motherfucker. Don't kill him. By the way, I was fasting soda for five days, you know, not drinking any, and I broke it today. I, I couldn't do it. The headaches were getting too much. But yeah, I gotta do it slow and steady. I don't want to end up in the ER again trying to do this. Come on, catch that fucker! Hey, I said catch and not get out of the ball. Tickle. What? Oh, that ain't right. That is not right. Vine growth is accelerated for Tangrowth living in warm climates. If the vine grows long, Tangrowth shortens them by tearing parts of them off. Wow, how morbid. There's another Pikachu. Glacier and Twig. Big mushroom. What the hell? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a big ass monkey Pokemon there. You fucker! Orangaroo. Oh shit, T's live now. Just punch him in his balls. Oh, this one's not live. What?
Uh, no premiere today. There's a regular tangle there. Sorry, guys. I, I had to look at that real quick. I'm sorry. Aha! Lil. Lily? We got your patilly. Legend? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not gonna walk back? I don't even know where the fuck to go. I'm like Leon here. Oh wait, I know where I'm at now. Okay, good. There he is. Heh. Finally, Hunter Pin, you found Ligan it. Lilligan. Manny. Lily. Dilly D. Hey, <laughs> it looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. Gang too. What do you think, Hunter Pin? I think I'd say, I'd say Lilligan's trying to thank you. Lily. Huh? Is this some of the nectar from your flower, Lilligan? Cantu, Tilin. Oh, that's nice. Ah. The only thing I hate about doing a 34 in the truck is my ass gets. Oh God, it's starting to get sore <laughs> from sitting like this all day. Hang on one second. No premiere today. Nice one, Hunter P. Now we got some of Lilligan's nectar. Hopefully this nectar is sweet and sticky just like Ushiro likes it. I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give Applin's nectar a try. Uh. Oops, excuse me. Now where the hell would an Applin be at? Well, we're here in the forest of focus. Let's keep on looking. Nope. Hey, Hob, where'd you go? Amp. Oh, that's an applin. Okay. There, it's an applin. Half away. Oh, he's getting away! Applin, no, wait! This is run. I don't see Applin anywhere. But I'm sure it went rolling off this way. Hunter we gotta find that Applin. I'm pretty sure I know where, it's, where he's at. Something's wrong with that berry tree? Ouch! The Applin clocked you right in the head. I went in! Oh, I ran off again! Is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be Applin's nectar on you. It might have given us a slip, but at least we still got what we came for. But this Applin's nectar sweet enough for a sheep fiddle? Well, like they say, the proof is in the pudding, so or the Applin, so let's give this a try. Ew, did you just get that out of my hair? I don't think you'd describe it as sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Have you tried mixing the two together? Lilligan's get nectar wasn't it. Apple's nectar wasn't it. They're really what there weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Ushifiru Urshifu loves. Come to think of it, they weren't they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey are the same thing, so I was looking for plants and flowers. 
But I was just barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, literally. Hey, day. Whoa, a venipede. I don't see one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. Th that's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produces nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. Something like honey? Yes! And when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store up lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer's obvious, right? Beehive Pokemon. The Beehive Pokemon have got to be the answer. I'm sure of it at this time. And Vespa Queen is a Beehive Pokemon, right? Hunter P, have you ever seen one? I haven't seen them, but I know where they're at. We're talking about the Oz of Armor. I think we should find some of that island shaped like a honeycomb over near that big blue tower. Now that, now that we know where we're going, I'm off. Don't make me wait, Hunter P. Oh, for heaven's sake. Luckily, I know where that's at. Unfortunately, you can't fly to it. Well, we can at least ride our bikes to- Ah, damn it! I don't want to fight the Pikachu! <laughs> eh, I'll catch it just for the hell of it. Damn it! You used an Ultra Ball. Yoink! Pikachu was caught! Yay! Yay! I'm going to Hawaii! Yay! I caught a Pikachu again! Oh shit, is my refrigerator not closed all the way? That's not good. Get out of the way! Where the hell am I now? I forget. I'm, am I lost? Oh, for heaven's sake, we went the wrong way. Come on. Yeah, if that honestly was a chance I missed the other uh, yesterday when I was let's playing yesterday today's episode. Oh boy, or yesterday's episode. Ah crap. T says that they give a lot, and I mean a lot of rare, rare candies, is what he said. And I'm bound to believe him. He is the Pokemon master. He is my coach and my trainer. I don't think he would steer me wrong. All right, I gotta be I gotta be careful out here. Shark Pedo is out here and he will hunt me down where are you at ah! sucker came out of nowhere Whew. there you are hunter be glad you could finally make it I've seen loads of combi around, but no signs of a Vespa Quinn so far. But they're the ones that have sticky honey. I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonya, but why is it going off now? Is it reacting to this tree here? Something's got to be up, Hunter B. I think we should check it out. There's a clo clo cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Sure. Hey, Shiva, punch it. What's happening now? I'll give you one guess. Oh, crunch berries. Yeah.
Oh, beehive! Whatever it is that came from the tree sucks you into the Pokemon den. Oh, Mama Sita! Looks like I know what to do here. There we go. You get the full dose, I don't care. <laughs> and he's still paralyzed, what the fuck? Damn, that's a strong Pokemon! Come on, take- Ah, oh, piss! Attack or- Uh-oh. Oh, for Fred fuck's sake! It did not look good for him to have one off. But I trust my Pokemon. Acrobatics. Holy shit! Come on, land a critical. That's it, I knew you could do it. Shit a monkey. Well, I'm ready for you this time. That's it. Good job. The aftershocks of the battle caused a strange coma honey to fall from from above. A coma max honey. All right, honey that Dynamax Vespi Queen produces. Adding this honey to Max Soup makes the taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as a Max Revive. Ooh, I sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vespa Queen to come out swooping out to attack us. I was too shocked to even think of joining you in battle. You fucking wuss. If that, that is some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's the certain something who Shifu loves. And it seems like that honey was sitting off my power spot detector too. The Max Mushrooms and this honey you can find out here in the Isles of Armor. They both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. There's tons we don't know about it yet, so there's tons of research just waiting to be done. Come on, you got that thing you were looking for, so let's head back to the dojo at once. I need one more max mushroom, dude. Oh, hey, Metagross. Well, I guess we'll look around a little bit, see if we can find a, uh, 
See if we can find one more. You need three total. Hey, here comes Arpedo! Automatic payment for Home Depot coming out on the 21st. All right, thank you. Dragon Scale. Dragon type Pokemon may be holding this item when caught. Star Piece. And a Diglett. Ta da! Go! It's like fucking Jaws. Woo! Trying to hide from me. Detona! Found an Ultra Ball. Can't ever have too many of those. There's a Skarmory, but I'm not interested. I've already got one. What the hell is that? Eh, some other time. We'll catch Pokemon later. I'm trying to find Max Mushroom Cloisters now. Oh, mama! Yes! Seems to be interested in the other Pokemon sent. Iron Head. It's a Steel Touch that shouldn't kill it. Yeah. Try catching it. Come on. Damn it. I don't want to damage it too much because the sandstorm. Damn it, really? RN Jesus, I pray that thee give me this Pokemon to join my team me. Well, it worked that time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You know, if it wasn't a pain in the ass trying to get one of those things, I probably would have skipped it. Hey, you feeling good? Dig me up some watts. Alright, I'm just going to start rapidly hitting the A button. 5,000, 8,000, 3,000, 2,000, 5,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,000, 15, 8,000, 5,000. 2,000, 3,000. That's all the digging I got in me. Yeah, sometimes he'll go crazy and just, you know, just boom, just start going crazy, getting five after five after five. There should really be an item that says, hey, uh, uh, there's a, uh, there's mushrooms growing over here. Upgrade. Give this to a polygon and trade him and he leveled and he, uh, evolves. Come on, there's got to be some Max Mushroom Cloister somewhere around here, or Clusters. Whatever the fuck they're called. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> the fucker drowned. 
Aha! Ah, piss! A whizmer. Just punch him and get it over with. Punch him right in the dick. Stone. God damn, T wasn't lying, man. This is this game is kind of generous when it comes to getting items. Aha! Damn it, glass. I'm gonna go ahead and throw one in here. If Chansey shows up, let's kick its ass. That's a fighting type. Nah. No. Welcome back, my wandering Wulu. Oh, and what does that sweet scent I detect wafting over through the air around you? <laughs> That'd be the max honey that Ushifu loves to max, loves to the max. We got our hands on a nice haul of it. Did you now? Already? You put me 100p on an old man. There's nothing the two of us can't do together. <laughs> you really did a bang-up job finding that max honey with hardly a hint from me. Very nicely done, 100p. And our little hop, too. You didn't forget him for a second what that certain something was, did you? <laughs> Troll. If we add Max Honey to our Max Soup, even Ushifu will be able, will be sure to want to sip. oof -roo. Well, it's been real, Hunter P, but I think you've learned just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you, which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come after all. I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo. If you think you're ready, really ready for me when I'm serious, then come to the battle court out back. All right. Battling the master when he's serious, that's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Lee how he knows, so Muster's gotta be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirits for serious battle, Hunter P. I guess I better start getting serious about the research I came here to do, too. Good luck with your things, Hunter P. I'm sure you'll manage like you always do. I'll come dash and ride back to catch that battle, though, if you do try to take it on Master Mustard. Well, don't forget, I'm going to be doing it in the next five minutes. Damn, we're already at 42 minutes. Good. I can make some Max Suit that even Kufu's Evolution Ushifu will drink. As long as you got both Max Honey and Max Mushrooms, that is. Want to give your Pokemon Max Suit? Yep. Which Pokemon want to give Max Suit to? If this Ushifu drinks Max Soup, it'll be capable of Gigantamaxing. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms and one comb of Max Honey to make Max Soup. Is that alright? Yes. So that's why I did that. That's why I was looking for those mushrooms. I knew he was going to ask for it. Alright, let's go heal. What can I help you with, love? Another hundred thousand? We can get even more supplements in stock. Hello, hello, number one pharmacy. Do you think we could ask for just one more teeny tiny addition to our regular order? 
I'm sure they don't mind. HP up and Carbos. If I raise my speed up. No, no protein. Yeah, you weren't thirsty anyway. Now we want Carbos. Speed is vital. Well, ass fuck me with a cactus. Any more upgrades we can get? If you could spare us another 99,022, I'll have a special Master Dojo design made for your lead card. Sure, why not? It's not like I use my wants. To get the Master Dojo as a lead card background. Is this the Pokemon League? Honey here from the Master Dojo. I've got a plan that I think will benefit the both of us if you might be interested. Mm-hmm, exactly right. Hee hee, it all went smoothly and I got everything settled. Update your League card anytime from your very own Rotimi. What's next? 300,000? I will make you a true work of beauty. You'll have to wait just to find out. How many watts do I got? God damn! Whenever you have some extra watts, simply come by and talk. Well, it looks like I know what I'm doing next. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And roll. Woohoo! Are you ready for another battle with little old me? Yes. That's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey on over to the battleground. Well, it sure ain't Cloud Strife. Remember when he says, All right, everyone, let's mosey. And Sid gets pissed off at him. Brooklyn Rage! God, I ain't said that in years. Wow. You know, I've been thinking more and more these days about how fortunate we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake first. I can't thank you enough, Hunter P. It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist a battle against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Uh, sorry, my ear was itching. Now then, let's get things started. This is the most fun in the world. Dojo Master Mustard. Oh, he's got a full 16 now. Me and Shado. Go on, talk Tristy. I know you can do it. It's been a while since I faced such a strong opponent. My blood's boiling over. Time to see exactly what all this training has made of you. You're all. Uh, oh, damn. They're in their 70s. What bullshit? Of course, it ain't very effective. I'm a poison type. Fighters and fighting types and poison don't mix. Lux Ray. I forgot what it is, but I'm pretty sure Cinderace can kick its ass. Oh yeah, I remember now. Ooh, scary. Kick him in his balls. Oh yeah, it's not a dark time, my bad. I know it's an electric type. 
Maybe I should have sent out, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 uh Tyranitar. Corviknight. You got this. Too nervous to eat berries. We ain't got berries to eat, you hippie. Hata! That's it. I knew you could do it. Ah, I see you've got your fundamentals down, Pat. But that alone won't cut it. Like what? Like and rock. Ah. Eh, just powerball him. Oh damn. Oh yeah, it's a ground type. Oops. Well, I know how to deal with them. That's how you deal with them. <laughs> Come Come back, Cinder, you did great. Been a while since we've used Metagross. Twenty stones. All right. Meteor Mash. Langra Soul. What the hell is that? Shifu. Go on, or Shifu. My skills are only getting shot, but try not to get captivated by my might. I ain't scared. Bring him out. It's go time! Oh, damn! Now I become the gigantic fist that freaks your opponent as one would smash through a board! God damn! Crazy eyes! He's in crane form. Yeah, his is blue, mine's red. Let that be a reminder, a single slip could cost you everything. I ain't worried.
Dojo Master Mustard has been defeated. <laughs> Strength ebbs and flows. Hey, damn it, I didn't even get a chance to read that. One moment you grasp and the next it slips from your hand. But the strength you now have, the strength that let you defeat me is unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. 30,000 bucks, can't go wrong with that. <laughs> I held absolutely nothing back and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses his master. A true moment of pride for the master. You deserve a very special lead card from me. This is my prize? Really? It seems I will have to redo my own training from scratch. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost. Ah, so you all came. You know, I can't resist seeing you get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. You look utterly dashing, darling. Oh, but look at me getting all distracted. You are amazing, Hunter P. Looks like we'll need to have some Max suit tonight to celebrate. I knew you weren't just a new student. I think I'll call you Master Newbie from now on. Well, I'm not surprised one bit, Hunter P. I knew you'd win. And you were fabulous too, Shifu. Ahem. <laughs> Hunter P. You're not here to tell us you're getting a sex change, are you? Well, um, how should I put this? I thought maybe I should offer my congratulations. But I won't. Honestly, I don't see why I should celebrate anything. I will admit, I do feel a bit better. I couldn't hold a candle to a trainer who defeated the master at his full strength. But we next, but when we, next we meet on the field of battle, it will be I who takes the victory in a fair fight, nonetheless. You sure? You got that. You got quite the attitude, though. Maybe not, it's not as bad as mine. Well, at least he's aware of his own flaws. Well, that wraps up the last of the training here at the Master Dojo. Oh, Master, I see you're back to normal. Hunter P. I hope that you'll come by and have more battles with me from time to time. It'll make us both stronger. Just so we're ready for when the time comes. Huh? <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. He's probably going to have level 100 Pokemon, isn't he? Anyway, let's all head back, shall we? Like one big family. Yeah! Yay! Yay! I want to go to Hawaii! Yay! Okay, I think that does it for Isles of Armor. Unless, yep, there's the DN sign. We are officially done with this part of the story. So. I can't believe you beat the master even when he was serious. You might be able to tackle this dojo's most grueling type of training ever. Restricted sparring. If you have the courage to try it, let me know. First you had my curiosity, but now you have my full erection. Don't you mean attention? You guys know what I'm about. <laughs> I think that'll do it for Isles of Armor, guys. So take care of yourselves and each other. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below that you watched. Uh, or if you're helping me out or anything like that. I do appreciate that a lot. Share this on all social media. Take care. Be safe. Adios, everyone. Next up, Crown Tundra. See you there.